What's going on guys? It's the real Napoleon here and uh, I have a pretty cool gameplay I wanted to share with you guys. I forgot to record it but luckily War Thunder saves all your replays automatically so it was not lost. So without further ado let's jump right into the replay. I've been playing the T32 a lot lately. Um, kind of just grinding through the American Tech Tree. I know I'm a I'm a pleb just like everybody else, making way. And uh, honestly, the T32 has been one of the more fun tanks that I've been able to play. It's uh, got a good balance of mobility and armor, and uh, really decent gun actually for the Americans. The 90 millimeter. It's a heavy hitter. Uh, It'll definitely poke holes in most of the tanks you'll come up against at this BR. It is a 7.0 tank, so you start facing off against some heavy hitters, the Yag Tiger, get yeah, every single Tiger 2, T44s, T54s, and we have this uh, we have this machine gun idiot over here just shooting, shooting all the tanks. So we're gonna push up. We're going to pass B, and we're going to slide right into the C point. I want to take control of the map pretty early, and I, as I'm pushing up, I notice the uh, C point getting captured, but as you can see, my whole team is T, 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 T. It's all American heavy tanks, so this is the, uh, the American heavy tank steamroller. So we push up, I get a nice position to see a tank fire from behind this building and I decide no I'm not pushing into the smoke protect my uh, my side armor it is definitely one of the weaker points of the tank and you know what as soon as this smoke clears out I decide let's push up I got a Vickers on my back I got a T32 pushing up to the right so it's clear we're just gonna establish some dominance so as I push up I'm watching these uh, enemy hit markers show up on the mini map I'm just looking to see what what we can uh, drag out as we really, really control this map. So I got a T29 up there, T32 in front of me. And as I crest this building, my buddy takes a hit right in the side. One hitter. It's a Ferdinand. So I try to take a shot, ricochet, and then I notice, oh, he's on fire. He's not going anywhere. So, dump some 50 cals of freedom into his side. And, uh... Wait till this reload is over and see if we can't finish him. And decent spawning, but that Ferdinand is a big tank, so side shots are kind of hard to one shot. You really got to hit him in a good spot. We're almost done reloading, so I move up and let's delete him. Boom, crew knocked out. So you can see the uh, the penetration of this 90 millimeter is actually pretty decent. So at this point, we're pushing up. I see uh, I see some enemy tanks on the hit markers over here on the right side. Side, you know, let's go and capture A. Let's get uh, let's get some more silver lines, some more research points. And uh, my centurion buddy here takes care of this, but he still got a hit marker. I'm like, What's going on here? So he's dead. Let's push up. At this point, I decide, you know what, let's go left side. I've left the hit markers on, uh, so you guys can see what's going on. But at this point, I didn't see anything until these trees started falling up in front of me. That's why you don't want to run over trees when you're up in cover. So, check my right side. I see this panther. I'm trying to decide who's the bigger threat at this point. That panther was moving fast, so I don't think he's going to really give me any kind of headache. I'm watching up front here, make sure I don't get flanked. And can I snapshot him? No, I dump it into the burn. But that's alright. So he's going to continue pushing forward. And at this point, so you can see what I'm looking at, I don't see any tank, so I decide let's try to get some hit markers on him. Maybe we can get a assist, and boom. I don't know what he was doing, but he wasn't paying attention to me take him out and I decide you know let's get into cover while we reload let's see if we can't follow up with that panther who's as of now disappeared 
at this point, I'm looking around. A's not captured. Oh, there he goes. Deleted. So we're going to push up, capture A, and then I notice this Tiger 2 up here in B. Oh shit. Let's, uh, let's deal with them. And can I get a shot on him? He's backing up. He's angled. No joy. So at this point, I think, you know what? Let's go, uh, let's go take care of him. We got a point, and this T-44 decides to dump something into my, uh, my side armor, and I bounce. Which is really good, because he could have penetrated me easily. And now we're going to dance around this mound a little bit. Is he going to push out? Get some hits on him. You want to go forward, backward? No. You're going to play passively? Alright. I ricochet, and I decide, nope, I'm out of here. I think he just took care of that uh, challenger that was next to me. So I'm trying to push around this building. This Tiger II uh, dumps one into my turret. And it's just going to show you how much armor this turret really has. Because those Tiger IIs, those 88 millimeters are no joke. They'll penetrate a lot of armor. But that turret's upwards of 300 mils. You're, you're in a good spot as long as the enemy team doesn't know where to aim on you. So let's push around this building. I see that he's, uh, he's facing me. And I get a non-pen, but I bounce him too. I should have gone for that engine, but that's alright. I see an anti-air come up here. I said, you know what, he's a soft target. Let's get him. Let's go back to you. I'm not letting you get away now that I got that, uh, that sweet easy kill. So I dump one into him. I don't even know what just took the, uh, took the uh, penetration. It was one of those ghost shots. Can I finish him? No, the Centurion's gonna... Clean him up. That's all right. I got the enemy kill assist, and now you can see we have complete dominance of the map. I see a heavy tank hit marker up here on the right hand side. Then I notice this Coelian. And at this BR, these uh, these anti-airs are no joke. They will pierce you. They'll take care of your gun, and as you can see, they take care of my uh, my barrel. So I try to huck a shot. It's no good. Trying to get some 50 cals into his armor. He's just a little too armored for that, so I decide, that, you know what? Let's let's cut our losses. Let's back up. I don't want to get side shot by the Tiger II that I passed by. Keep marking him. And as I'm doing that, I notice uh, some activity over here on my left hand side. What's coming up on me right now? The next thought in my head is I need to repair. And, oh, I have another panther. So, I wanted to take the shot and then realize, hey buddy, uh, no gun, no fun. So I get it repaired, I get the reload, I start putting rounds into him. Figure, again, if I get an enemy kill assist, that'd be nice. If I can get the kill, it's even better. Am I gonna get it? Yes, Boom, and nope. It's gonna go into the rear of the turret. I didn't take my time. I just took a shot from over here on the right hand side, but I need to push up, get out of cover, and there goes that panther. So I can loop around. Now I'm in a great position. I got this Coelian up in front of me. I'm just gonna delete. This IS-2 is over here. He just took out my buddy. As I start to push up, I notice this Ferdinand. Now, he doesn't notice me yet, so I decide to push up a little bit, and I got this sweet tree right in my way. But, it falls, and the IS-2 gets knocked out. So now the Ferdinand's having second thoughts about pushing up. He's not making a comeback. And this late in the game, I'm looking at the score, and I figure, it's GG. Let's push up. Let's be greedy. Let's get that kill. I already got a uh, ace. I got six kills. I got my double strike. And here's a triple strike and a one shot. So that was a really nice shot, especially uh, especially considering I pushed myself out enough to get killed. But that just goes to show you, you know, everything everything has a weakness, and that's that's the side armor right there on that uh, T32. The turret, it's a hard cookie to cut, but the uh, the sidearm will get 
shot through by almost anything. It's definitely something to protect. But anyways, guys, that was the uh, that was the seven kills over here. That it's a fun match, you know. I I didn't have to think too hard. Played pretty aggressively. And it really just showed what a bunch of American heavy tanks can do. They just steamrolled the enemy. They didn't have a chance. Well, guys, it's been fun. I'll catch you on the flip side.